Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So, uh, I wanted to talk about something here that, uh, is actually kind of exciting to talk about. It's sort of the next, I guess, reunion in a, in a sense that we are going to be getting, and that is Carol and Daryl's reunion. But more than that, I think going into the Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, uh, season two, or I guess the Book of Carol. I'm always going to refer to it, by the way, as Daryl Dixon season two, because if I refer to it as Book of Carol, it feels like a different show, and it's really not. Like, I, I know they wanted to include Carol in the title, but I just think that you should have had maybe a more neutral title then for just the show in season one, right? Instead of calling it The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon, because now calling it The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon Book of Carol, like what is the, the third season going to be called? I feel like it's not going to be, I, I think it would just be a season three then. So it's just kind of, I don't know. But I do want to talk about the scene in season one in which uh, Carol says that someone came back and give some thoughts on it because it does seem like right now, or at least as of right now, that she said that Rick came back, or at least Rick and Michonne, or maybe she just says Michonne. We'll talk about that in here. So before we go any further, definitely make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my Walking Dead content like this. I'll be doing my Q&A video tomorrow along with some other Walking Dead videos throughout the weekend and whatnot. And uh, yeah, a lot of follow-up videos. I'm going to be posting probably episode two and my episode three review today, really as much as I can get done. So maybe there'll be an episode four review. I'm not entirely sure. Honestly, I'm just going to keep posting all my reviews for every episode. It seems like everyone kind of likes the, you know, my episode one review. So I will obviously keep going with all of this and yeah, maybe it'll be a new thing that I cover on the channel just sort of overall. I think that that, that could be a lot of fun because I really do like the world and, and Fallout is what I want The Walking Dead to become. It, it really is such a big part of what I liked about the CRM and the possibilities. And yes, the CRM is still a part of The Walking Dead universe. So they could still actually do this because in Fallout, you have a lot of amazing organizations that have different beliefs and there are some that are at war with one another and don't like each other and stuff. And it just sort of makes for a very interesting world. And The Walking Dead is sort of setting itself up for that right now. So and so, yeah, if you do want to get all my Fallout reviews and all that, definitely make sure to be a subscriber, especially if you want my Walking Dead content as well. But yeah, let's talk about this here. So there is a lot of debate right now, obviously, on what Carol said. Uh, ever since that happened, it was just like, wait, what? And I was always under the belief that there was no way it was going to be uh, Rick or Michonne. And it does seem like after the ending of The Ones Who Live that it kind of makes sense for it to be Rick and Michonne. So Carol probably knows now that Rick and Michonne made it back home. Now, what I will say, you know, what would be very, very frustrating about that is, is if the actual reunion with Carol and like Rick or Carol and Michonne happened off screen. That is something I would be very, very frustrated with because we've been waiting years for Rick to see these characters, not just for Rick to see Daryl or for Rick to see like Negan or Maggie. Like I wanted to see Rick, you know, to see everybody for the first time. Maybe we weren't going to get everyone fine, but someone like Carol, you know, she's a big character like just in the franchise. So I, I want to see her reaction to seeing Rick for the very first time. So at some point, whenever they do do a season two of The Ones Who Live or, or the new series or whatever they're planning to do, I hope that, you know, there's a flashback to that moment or there's just a reference to that. I, I really do, because otherwise I'd just be, I'd be so frustrated with that, honestly. But it does seem like, you know, looking back at that scene now that it does seem like Carol said, Rick came back. Or maybe like Rick and Michonne came back. Like, obviously, whatever she said, even if she just said Rick or even if she just said Michonne, she's referencing the fact that both of them came back, right? And so... I just think it makes sense that, like, it, you know, maybe she just said, like, Rick came back and, uh, you know, because obviously the follow up to that, if, if Daryl was like, what, really? And then she would just be like, yeah, Michonne found him, right? Like, I think that just makes a lot more sense because it's a lot to say Rick and Michonne came back. Like, it's just sort of, it's a lot to say right there, right? Although I will say, you know, maybe she does just say Michonne came back, right? Like, I feel like that might even make more sense. And, you know, then she's expecting Daryl to be like, okay, so what does that mean? Like, Michonne's back, awesome. But like, you know, like maybe he's expecting bad news, like Rick might be gone kind of thing, right? And then Carol just says she found him, you know, like he's back home. Like, to me, that reveal is going to be really epic. Like, this is going to be such a big reveal in season two. Daryl finding out that Rick is alive, like for sure, and he made it back home to Judith and to RJ, I think that is something that is going to really, really, it's going to change so much of just how we kind of view the current state of the Walking Dead universe, right? And I, I think that's the one thing that they wanted to accomplish with the ones who live is that they wanted to bring the Walking Dead to a place where future stories with all of our characters it isn't just so tied to that story of Rick being gone for so long, right? Because that was a storyline for a long time, six years, right? Like a very, very long time where Rick has just gone for so long. Everyone was trying to find him. And it became such a big part of the Walking Dead universe story. So just wrapping that up, having Rick just back home, 
like it just kind of it, it it helps a lot because they're able to do much more with the story and now you can just kind of have Rick pop up here and there right like that's one of those things that I feel like Andrew Lincoln, you know, he he would want to do, like show up here and there for like th- this sort of moment or whatever. But like, you know what I mean? I, I just think that like creatively, it, it just it helps so so much. So when do I think this is going to happen? Honestly, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they held off this reveal. Like, I mean, Carol telling Daryl about Rick. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they held off on the reveal until like episode five, <laughs> just because episode five, or at least you know, looking back at the at the ones who live, it wasn't really the big episode. That was sort of episode four, I guess. So it depends on on what's going on. You know, episode one obviously is going to focus on Daryl and Carol separately. Uh, I think they will reunite at the very end of that episode, or maybe at some point in episode two, probably early on. And, um, you know, do they talk about it immediately? Probably not. Like, just just because of The Walking Dead, like, they want to save those reveals for moments where they can just kind of sit around and talk about stuff, right? And I think they might do the same thing here with, with this show where you actually just have Daryl and Carol sitting down talking about a bunch of stuff because obviously they haven't seen each other in a while. And also, we just got to, like, catch up with Carol, too, right? Because, like, we know what Rick's up to, Michonne, and, like, everyone else. But Carol's the one character now from the from the core cast that we have no idea what she's been up to since the end of The Walking Dead, right? And it'll be kind of amazing to see a lot more of her story here. So I, I will say, you know, this reveal, like, Daryl finding out about Rick being alive, it's actually not so bad. Just because, like, I've always wanted him to see Rick for the first time just, like, in person, right? To have that reveal that he's still alive in person. but. That, you know, that is very much just like, you know, fan fiction. It's just sort of stuff that you kind of think of in your head, right? It's not really, it, it maybe it doesn't make sense, you know, uh, writing wise, right? Like maybe just to make it a little bit more realistic, you know, you're going to have people find out just sort of from someone else kind of thing, right? I will say, I, I think that a, a big part to Rick's story, at least in a season two or a new series or whatever they, that they do, Rick and Michonne are going to be helping people and all of that. That's amazing. But I think, you know, when when they're helping people, it would be really cool for, for a part of Rick's story to just kind of be like, I, I wonder where Daryl is. Like, I really want to know where Daryl is. And so he's helping people, him and Michonne, you know, that like they're, they're together as a family and then they go out and help the Civic Republic with like, you know, bringing supplies to people. But he's wondering like, where's Daryl? He went out there to go and look for me and I just, I feel bad. And maybe he's like keeping an eye out on things. And again, Carol's not there and Carol's going to disappear and go to France. So it's not like she's going to be able to say anything to Rick or to anybody else. Right. So I think that would be something that would be very, very interesting as well is like them not knowing that they all went to France. Right. And so for Daryl, not for Daryl, but for Rick to be like, I don't know where they are. Right. So it's almost switched in a sense. Like they're all viewing it like is where's Daryl, right? Is Daryl missing now? (laughs) It's like, is he with another CRM somewhere out there? Obviously, Rick was in that situation before, so he would just believe that Daryl's still alive and out there. But yeah, I, I do think just knowing who Rick is, he's gonna have an obligation to try and find find Daryl, right? So I, I hope that that is a part of his story, you know, at least earlier on, or like a big part. Maybe there's other stuff that they're dealing with, with like, you know, Morgan shows up and then there's just other things, you know, in terms of the plot and the story. But I hope for Rick's personal mission and what he's doing with the Civic Republic that, you know, in the back of his head, he's always just kind of trying to keep an eye out for Daryl and like find clues on like where he could be kind of thing, right? Because Carol's going to be gone as well. I don't think a lot of people are going to know where they went overall, because I think you know, considering the fact that Daryl Dixon's filming season three and stuff, they're going to be gone for a very long time. And there's also rumors with season three that they're moving away from France as well in terms of filming. And I don't mean coming back to America. Like, they're going to be going to a different place, it seems like. And I don't know if that's actually true. I've just been seeing things online where it's like they're not able to film there anymore or this thing's about to run out so that they're going to have to film in a different location. And so it honestly could just be because they want to change locations, which I think would be absolutely incredible. I love when they do that, you know, keep it fresh. What does that mean for the story? Does Madame Genet die? Um, you know, I think that if she was to die, that would be unfortunate if the Varian Walker stuff was over, but I don't think they're going to actually end that story because obviously that's a big reason why fans love watching The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon, right? What I actually think it means if they do leave the area is most likely that if anything, Madame Genet won because Season one ended with Madame Genet sort of winning the, or not winning, but Daryl Dixon won, right? And, and Madame Genet was in a place where, yeah, she sort of had to stop the embarrassment that she had at that, you know, the, the gathering there. And now she's just like very angry with uh, with Daryl and like, you know, she wants revenge and all of that. So I just don't see season two ending in the, in the same way where everyone's all happy. I think they could lose the nest. That would be a really insane thing to happen. But, you know, I think the nest will be explored a lot in season two. But I don't think they're going to be there for the entirety of that season and season three and four. 
you know, I think they could probably lose that in, in uh, season two. So maybe they're forced to run, right? And then you lose a lot of people, obviously, there and uh, just see where that goes. So I just think that that's sort of that makes a lot of sense. So that's why they go to a different place because they're not going to stay around France because Madame Genet owns everything there. Like, it's just, that's not smart to do, right? So, yeah, I'm excited to see where the story's going to go here. And I'm really hyped to see Carol and Daryl's reunion. I think Carol, at this point, it makes sense that she said that Rick came back. And I'm excited to see that scene. I think that scene is going to be, honestly, amazing. Like, Daryl to just find out that Rick is actually alive out there. Um, just really incredible. So, post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.